The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. In the bottom of the sea live mermaids. The king of the mermaids has six daughters raised by their grandmother. At the age of 15, young mermaids are allowed to swim to the surface to watch humans. When it's the youngest mermaid's turn, she swims close to his ship and sees a handsome prince celebrating his birthday. His ship is destroyed by a storm, but the little mermaid saves the prince. She carries him to land. A group of girls finds the prince, and the little mermaid goes home. The little mermaid becomes very quiet and keeps thinking about the prince. Her sister helps her find his palace so she can watch him. The little mermaid talks to her grandmother and finds out more about humans. Humans live short lives, but then they go to heaven. Mermaids live long lives. They can live to 300, but become seafoam when they die. Yet a mermaid can get to heaven if a human falls in love and marries them, because then they share a soul. The little mermaid really wants to go to heaven, and so she sneaks away to visit the sea witch. The witch agrees to give her a potion that will give her legs and the ability to dance, but the potion has a few consequences. Every time she walks, it will feel like she's walking on daggers, and if she fails to marry the prince, she will die. The price for the potion is the little mermaid's tongue. She agrees, and the witch cuts out her tongue. She swims to the shore and takes the potion. She passes out from the pain. The prince finds her, and because she reminds him of the girl that saved him, he allows her to move into his castle. They become very close friends and very fond of each other, but he tells her that he wants to marry the girl who saved him. Without her tongue, she can't tell him that she is the one that saved him, but she can dance for him. Even though it hurts, she does it because it pleases him. Yet he is to marry a princess from a neighboring kingdom. The princess turns out to be one of the girls that found him on the beach. The morning thing saved him, so they marry on a ship of the prince. The little mermaid is invited to the wedding, but is very sad. Her sisters visit her in secret, and they are bald now. They traded their beautiful hair to the sea witch to save her. They give her a dagger. All she has to do is kill the prince, and she'll become a mermaid again. The prince and his bride are sleeping in a tent on the deck of the ship. The little mermaid sneaks into the tent to kill him yet sees them holding each other as they sleep, and is unable to take away the girl's happiness that she herself desired. She throws the knife into the sea, accepting her death. Yet because of her kindness, she is turned into an air spirit. If she is good, in 300 years she may go to heaven. The End